Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Race video, and today we're going to be playing Ride 4. We are here in Snetterton 100, and we are ready to go now! Let's do it! Starting from the back of the grid on board the Honda CBR 300 RRM, and that is a lot of R's in one sentence. So the bonus pack DLC 5 is completely free for everyone as carnage! Carnage has occurred for the, for the race leaders already down and out as this Grand Prix has just begun on this 300cc mayhem. But I was about to say, oh, look, oh my god, carnage has occurred once again. Unbelievable start. This is wacky. This is absolutely bloody bizarre. This start is we're going to go between two riders here. Beautifully done as we go around the outside. As Marco Lasic is in. Oh my goodness, I think someone's just gone down again. That's, this race has gone completely heck to a handbasket, and we're not even 40 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 seconds into it, whatever the bloody time is. Absolute maniac bloody moments. Just, um, oh, Jackson Riggs gives Eddie McDowell a good old shove at the rear. Can't even speak now, there's just too much bizarreness going off. Oh, I get absolutely buggered. Oh my goodness, what a start. This is just mayhem, absolute carnage, mayhem, and just catastrophe. It just occurred all at once, but I'm still trying to explain. The bonus pack DLC 5 is completely free. You get this Honda CBR 300 RRM from completely no fee at all. Just download it on whatever console or PC you're on, and then you will have access to this magnificent bike. So the stock livery is this one. Of course, you can't do any upgrades or change anything, really. You can change the livery, of course. But there's not really else to, else you can do, to be honest with you. But it doesn't really need it, because I think the livery looks nice. It just picked out a nice little black and white livery with a few red accents. Chucked on a Lorenzo helmet, and there you go. Nice looking combination. So, into the podium positions we are trying to get to. Marco Lasic and Jackson Rigg. Another one here, Eddie McDowell. He's in second place. We do happen to take third place now. Can we go around the outside and potentially flick it up on the inside of Eddie McDowell? We're going around the outside, and I tell you what, that's a bloody good job, it worked. Oh, Eddie McDowell's still there, though. Is he going to kamikaze me up on the inside? For Furman's? I don't think so. He certainly didn't, so we exit Furman's. Oh, he's still there, though. He's still uh, getting his nose in where he can. Keep your nose out of my business, sunshine, as we exit Palmer. Turn five. Now into the... Ooh, into the slipstream. Going at a lot of speed here on this CBR 300. And we'll go around the outside of Mr. Riggs, potentially. He runs it a little bit in deep on the penultimate lap. He's made a mistake. We're going to make the... Oh, beautiful. Up on the inside. Lovely, lovely move. And I don't think we're going to yield this position now because, well, we're about four and a half tenths of a second quicker already. And, well, we did get punted earlier on and we're still leading this Grand Prix. So I'd say pretty nice so far. We've, we've left this Grand Prix quite unscathed. More than uh, the people in the 11th and 12th can say right now as they're halfway across the track. I don't even think they're going to finish in time. <laughs> but I'm pleased to see that it's another free DLC. It's a shame we only get one bike, or I think in the future we get one free track, which I believe is Ulster GP. It's a shame it's just the one. I'd like a little pack with a couple of bikes. But it's decent. You get a nice uh, event to do in Ride 4 Career Mode. That's under the Super Bikes tab, which I found was odd. I didn't really think the 300R would be a Super Bike. Um, uh, hey -oh. It is you know, their decision. It um, doesn't bother me. The events are pretty much small five lap races, which are quite nice, and they're all similar to the Snetterton 100. Of course, in this video, we will be doing three Grand Prix. We have the Snetterton 100, and the rest can be a surprise. I have already done a video today, so if you're wondering, I've uploaded twice. I have, and balls that cone there. They got absolutely wrecked. But yes, uh, I did a video today, and that was simply the Weekly Challenge 1. So if you haven't seen that already, check it out after this one. And that is a pretty nifty win. Up by three and a half seconds. Beautifully done. Let's move on to the next Grand Prix, shall we? So the heavens have indeed opened right here in Tacuba. So it's a little bit wet, but we should be absolutely fine. Starting from the back of the grid, as always, and away we go. It's going to get a little bit busier up on the inside, but so we're going to try and go around the outside. Hopefully we can sort of ignore any would-be attackers or anyone going too wide. I think we should be okay. I did have to restart this one a couple of times because literally everyone crashed and we didn't. So I made it for a boring race. I don't want a boring race. Going up on the inside, around the outside, inside, everywhere you can go. Oh, close to making contact. 
with the Chinese man up on the inside. Uh, there is another move up on the inside from Masumoto. There's a, another Japanese man. Is Oh, carnage has occurred already. Three riders down in the space of a couple of minutes. Well, it's not even been a minute, has it? It's been 40 seconds into this Grand Prix. And people are face down in the gravel and going straight back to the main menus. As we go right now for the turn nine. Nice exit here is what we need. Don't want to be using too much of the speed because, well, I don't want to make it too easy. So I'll just gently pull off the throttle here and there as uh, George Adams. He looks to be carrying a lot of speed there. I'll let George Adams take over in second place. And the leader's gone down. Oh, George Adams has gone down as well. The race leader out. George Adams out. Roland Ock and Dr. Ace are going to be battling for the victory now then. And <laughs> just lap two. Everything has gone off already. It should be a nice easy one. This one is going to Oh, I almost lost the front. I almost lost the front and pushed old Ock out the way. As Brianna Timberley. Hashtag Brianna Timberlake is <laughs> into the lead now. Turn three. Oh, careful not to bump the back of the Oh, my goodness. I thought that was going to be it then. Carnage already. Absolute carnage, mayhem, and everything has been going off today. There's Jackson Rigg. Shout out to the Rigthman. He was in the previous race. Got decimated by a funky doctor ace. We're now into fourth place. This is. <laughs> it's just been full of absolute comedy and just bizarreness in this one. I'm loving it. Hopefully your bonus DLC pack number five goes as well as mine has done so far. <laughs> That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. There's Jackson Riggs. He's now into third place. Can he stay out on both two wheels like he did last time? I was going to get close to his rear tyre there. Don't want to give him a bump because he will be skittled out of this Grand Prix. We don't want to... Oh, I did end up giving him a bump and I said I wouldn't do. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Try not to give anyone else a bump then if we can. Try and avoid it. To go around the outside. I don't like any lunges up on the inside, so I'm going to go around the outside, just in case anyone does go for a would-be cheeky lunge. It's Brianna Timberley leads this Grand Prix. Looking to flick it left for turn four. Half past ten here into Cuba. 16 degrees, and the rain is still coming down quite profusely, so this track will not dry within three laps' time. I'm going to go turn six. Ooh, be careful on that rumble strip. You can slide out of the Grand Prix by going too much on it, and I almost demonstrated that there. So good job, we're still on two wheels, but just be careful that if you're doing your own Grand Prix. There's Brianna Timbley, about half a second ahead of us, a couple of bike lengths, but uh, we do have the speed on board this Honda. Potentially get past her before the penultimate lap, but if we do it on the penultimate lap, I'm absolutely fine with that. Brianna Timbley is very close to the apex there, but doesn't actually touch it and end up crashing out like we've seen earlier on as we go around the outside of Timbley. For some reason, Timberley is trying to pick the bike up there, but we weren't really that close. I, uh, I don't question the AI's decisions on this game. There's a... Oh, contact made once more. Brianna Timberley says, have a bit of this sunshine. Gives me the big don't argue. But we're still in the lead for the time being on this penultimate lap of this Japanese circuit. Very small circuit, only about nine miles already, I think. Just going around this couple of bits of track. Not a lot. I don't think it's even that, actually. That includes a Snetterton Grand Prix. So it's probably not even that. It's probably half of that. Here we are into turn seven, approaching turn eight, and then flicking right for turn nine. We are about six tenths of a second clear. I don't think old Timberley's going to catch us up. Shout out to the lady, but the Canadians are not going to get past us. The gap's a second now. I think she's missed out. Jackson Rigg, though. Shout out to him being third place. He's going to take a well-earned podium. Just like he did in Snetterton 100. Lap 5 is upon us. And we have a very hefty lead now. So I don't think anything's going to go too bad for us now. Just try and keep the lap times coming. Have a genuinely nice and relaxed race now. It's going to be quite quiet. Or at least I hope so. Until uh, Brianna Timberley turns on to 7th gear. And gives us a kick up the wazoo. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think we should be absolutely fine and dandy. As we turn into turn 4. Hold it left. Get ready to fire towards the apex of the next couple of corners. Should be simple enough. Going to be nice, funky race. Hope you're enjoying this one so far, because my throat is killing. <laughs> it's, it's been a lot of shouting. The inhale had to come out a couple of times as well. Was not expecting this amount of carnage in such small Grand Prix. I guess the small Grand Prix offer the most sort of entertainment, because it's just 12 men going absolutely... Excuse me, 12 men and women going absolutely bizarre... For the, for the win. Well, it looks like we are going to be able to sit tea across the line and just chill out for a little bit. You know what? I might even go for a wheelie. 
We didn't wheelie on the last one. Oh, huge moment. Let's have a funky wheelie. Beautiful. Grand Prix 3 of 3 of today's video on this Honda CBR. Starting from the back of the grid, you know the drill, one second to go, let's do it. Marcello Baldin to the left of us, Marilyn Gordon as well. We're going to take it quite easy to start this one out because I don't know if there's going to be carnage. I don't know if everyone's going to be banging and bashing fairings, so we'll just see how it goes. Take it a little bit steady. And let's uh, size them up for weak spots as we go. But I do fancy a couple of lunges up in the inside. Take advantage of Marilyn Gordon already. Nicely done so far as Liam Pandy is just ahead of us. Begin to line him up. I think we're going to get him on the... Of course, this is the short circuit. So I'm probably going to get him on the straight here to the right. Or potentially go around the outside and do it all funky funky style. Not sure we can, but we're going to carry a lot of speed here. Considering this is a 300, it's like I'm on a 600 compared to these boys. Look at the speed we carried. They just can't hang. They, they can't hang with me. No way. They can't hack it. We're going to go up in the inside, potentially, of Paul Wesley. No, I don't think so. Definitely probably could have, but I'm glad we didn't because that would have been risky. And that probably would have compromised the uh, Portuguese man, Marce Marcello Baldin. Don't want to be doing that. Shout out to Carlos Pava Diaz for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Just shout out to Carlos Pava Diaz. I love saying that combination of words. It's a magnificent combination. There it is. Do you have any more? <laughs> Do you need any more reasoning for that one? Let's <laughs> turn right for turn one. It's quarter past four right here in the road Atlanta. Oh, by the inside of Marcello Baldin. I don't think he appreciated that one one bit, but we did. The ace has got a big thumbs up for that one, so who cares what he thinks? Shout out to the birds above in the sky. Rupert Gray is next on our site. Owen Brown, just a little bit further ahead. He's also on board the Honda CBR 300 RRM. Count the R's in that one. Eight seconds quicker than our previous lap time. So the standing start really does have an impact on the lap times, of course, as everybody knows. As we could potentially go around the outside of Owen Brown here. Maybe even old Rupert Gray. Not quite, but we do go. But the rubble strip contact's made with Owen Brown. They change positions, they change colours of fairing. Oh, everything's going off so far. I'm enjoying this one a whole bunch, and I hope you are too. If you are enjoying this one as we go around the outside of Rupert Gray, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already. We're on the, the verge of 900 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer every day. So I'd be very grateful if you could just help me out and hit that subscribe button. Your impact is absolutely massive. I don't think uh, you guys probably realise how much the likes, the comments and the subscribes help. So uh, I'm going to plug that part there and we'll crack on with the race as we are in pursuit of chasing down Frank Jordan, the American in his home track. Probably going to get him in the same place we got Pandy earlier on up on the inside here. Beautifully done. Hug in for a type apex and we can really push out into the slipstream of Kate Stewart. But we will slowly pull away and we're going to go for that wider line. I prefer braking on this side opposed to on the inside. I find that a bit unorthodox. So we'll brake on the right here. And then flick it in. And then flick it right for turn nine. Lovely combination of corner there. I really do enjoy that. I think this is a great track. It's not one I was familiar with until I played Ride 4. As we tell you what, we could go around the outside here. Oh, around the outside. I love it. Oh, <laughs> count the many, oh, count how many times I've said round the outside on this channel. Oh, I'll bet you'll be here all day. That should be on merchandise. That should, my friends. As Cristiano Bento is in the lead. Old Bento. How long is he going to be in the lead for, though, is the great question. If we do break a little bit too close to Bento. So we get a massive part of stutter there. I still have no idea why that happens. I always thought they stuttered because someone's crashed or someone entered the pits. But this one just stuttered, so I have no idea. I have a decent graphics card, so I have no idea. But I think on PlayStation it even occurs as well, as we carry a whopping amount of speed. The number 49 just cannot battle with us. He really can't. We're going to go around the outside into this corner. I'm feeling it. We're going to break late, and we're going to go around the outside. Let's do it. Okay, maybe maybe not. Oh, we can flick it over the inside, though. Yes. That's the last time you'll see Bento, my friends. It'll be hell Bento in case you... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that was terrible. I was going to say it was hell Bento on chasing me down, but that was probably one of the worst puns I've ever made. 
But you know what? I like it. I'm leaving it in. <laughs> I'd probably edit that out, but I'm leaving it in. Show a bit of personality to the old commentating experience as we fling it right for turn three. And begin to flick it left. Hold into the apex there. Let go of the apex and then look for the next one. Nicely done. Flick it left to hit the rumble strip. You can even go over that rumble strip if you want to. It's quite flat. I don't tend to. I don't really feel the need to, but it's the options there, I guess, if you want to. Try not to touch the grass there on the right. Someone's just uh, planted new seeds. And that's it. We have absolutely decimated the field in one lap. Really, really good stuff. I'm super impressed with this bike. I think it's terrific. Good selection of tracks on the uh, Ride 4 event for this particular bike. So that's about all I've got to say. So, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. We're going to win by a whopping three seconds, maybe even more. Beautifully done. We're going to have a very funky lap here. It's going to be a 104 if we ever think it is. Yeah, a 104. Absolutely gorgeous. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you haven't done already. And I will see you next time. Ciao for now. Oh hi! Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Race video.